All right, guys, so now off of the arm drag, we're going to look at when a partner is bearing down even more and we can't even get an angle off of the off of the arm drag, okay? So from the close guard, as we've gone from everywhere, okay, we're going here and we're going to get our arm drag grips where we have the wrist control, where we have the elbow, and we've tried to pull it across here, but our partner is now driving heavy, okay, as, a, as an early response to this position. So maybe I can bump here, and get it across a little bit, but you can see I'm still fairly square to my partner. I couldn't get this really nice angle here. This will be the case sometimes, but if this happens enough that I can get this elbow across and we can close the distance, from here I'm now gonna hug with the gable grip at the shoulder. But now I've got the elbow across, so maybe I'm not able to bring myself all the way here because they're driving into me, kind of like tripoding into me. Okay, so in this case now, Look, I'm gonna bring my foot up to the hip here and I'm gonna uh, allow this now to push off of his hip to help me kick higher up into his armpit here. Okay, so I'm facing off his hip and this is gonna let me kick over and angle enough that I can start to unhook onto this leg. Okay, sorry, this is not a comfortable position. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep a hold of the armpit here. I'm gonna start to scoop this leg up and look, I'm still pushing off of the hip. Now from this position, it's like, it's very similar to the flower sweep, okay, or, or pretty much the same thing, where I'm gonna start to hook this leg here and kick with the momentum as I drive my heel up towards the armpit where he has no base. So I can drive all the way up here until I can get my sweeping finish, okay? So when my partner, or when we're able to get that elbow across a little bit, but they're still very square into me and they start to lift and drive. A lot of people will opt to drive into you until they can fully bring that elbow back to square. They can center, center themselves and then make that distance again. This is a good option. So even if you don't get the sweep, off balance them enough that they'll reconsider driving into you and maybe start to sit back into their heels again. So you can be here and have the close guard. I start to drag this across here. Okay, but I'm not able to get all the way here. I've just got it tipped across my belly button line a little bit. Now from here, look, I'm gonna hug onto my partner's body just so that even though I haven't got that angle, you know, enough to take the back, I have enough of an angle here that I can close the distance and stop him from pulling his elbow out any looser. Now from here, look, I'm gripping here. I grab the armpit, push off the hip to hug under the leg. And now from here, look, I'm gonna kick swing the legs momentum and pull myself all the way to top. Now, something that can, can, can happen from here is if you feel like you can't get enough momentum to sweep your partner over, okay, so they feel like they've spread their legs here so they can catch their base fairly well, even with a twisted body, or you feel like as well as that, they're starting to slip this elbow out now, because I've gone for that gable grip, we can also attack the shoulder crunch. So it links back into what we've already previously done. So when we're here and I bring this arm across, I crunch down here, look, he's facing up, I can push. He starts to pull this elbow across the body, look, I've lost this. But now I can fold here and we have our shoulder crunch options and our attacks off this side that we can link onto. So we can start to anchor onto that arm because his arms and upper body are exposed when he's driving into me like that. Separate the arm from the body, making him more likely to drop back down onto his knees to stop driving into me like that. And then we have also our shoulder crunch options there as submissions.